What's up gamers? I'm Blake Chaos and welcome back to Blake is Trash at Fighting Games, where I try to be not so trash at fighting games that I love, and today we're diving back into some of that Tekken 8. And yes, 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 yes. Your eyes do not deceive you. You read that video title right. Believe it or not, based on that last video, you lose. We finally done it. We got our first set of wins with our boy Law in Tekken 8. And believe it or not, at this point, sometimes I can't believe it when I wake up at night, we are in the green ranks. But please, 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 please hold your applause because holy sh these wins, they feel a lot like that meme with the dog in the room that's on fire. They feel terrible. The truth is, I'm an absolute panic button masher. I just wanna mash those sweet, sweet buttons. So much so that I actually might need to attend my local Game Stops Button Masher Anonymous meetings. Because instead of remembering my fundamentals, my pokes, my down forward two, how to block, if my opponent is pressuring me too much, I be mashing. But what I wanted to do today was go back to my first set of wins with Law and really try and break down based on all the content I've tried to absorb, the notes I've taken, and the practice that I've done to get me into green ranks. I know, I know. Hold your applause. But try and identify things that I need to get better at, because there's probably a lot of them, but I feel like if I watch back some replays more often, maybe I'll be able to start picking up faster on things to improve, and I'll spot them in matches and be able to fix them too. So without further ado, let's crack a crispy boy and re-watch some of these matches. All right, so we're going to watch these matches back to back. It's a full set of three. Uh, with me playing Law against Xiao Yu, which is ironic because that's who I was playing in practice mode all morning. Let's take a look and see what I can spot in terms of like things I could fix or mistakes that I was making. And if I remember right, this first match is kind of brutal, so we'll see how it goes. We're just trying to win one. we just trying to win one indeed. Ew. So I'm going to try not to stop this too much, uh, but I might. Promotion match, you mean the first win? How am I on a promotion match? Wasn't this the only win that I was going to get? All right, so we're a little bit standoffish. This is ha way before I was paying attention and trying oh, wow, to block a bunch. Okay, they just absolutely blast me with like a 1-1-2 one, one, combo, it looked like. Wow, she just with the low. Me. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that somebody would be sidestepping you in beginner rank. But Xiao Yu, like, I feel like people that play Xiao Yu are good. I don't know. One thing that I've got to stop is using this like wheel kick. It's like, all right, they're doing like all down, those, back, basically. forward, three wheel kick combo. Cause it's, I think it's so exposing. But we get round one off. We're doing decent here. I mean, we're holding our own. They have a lot of health they can gain back. They hit the heat. That is one thing that I've got to learn more with Law, and I think it's a mistake you'll see a lot throughout these matches is I have, there's a lot of like moves that are just heat engagers by themselves. And I don't always know when to use them or know that I've activated heat. It's like an accidental activation because I use like a, a running move that I forgot activate heats. So there's a lot Wait. to kind of pick up there. Nunchuck move. Uh, we kind of, we definitely blew our load there a little bit with the heat, that was dumb. Show you just like putting on a clinic right now. I'm at way less than a quarter health here. Slides in, hits me with the low. I actually that's a mid. That's a mid get up. The low stance on Shao Yu is interesting. Like, yeah, I bet you this is kind of a cool character to play. Damn, dude. Absolutely just cream. completely ducked that that high kick off of me. They kept trying to hit me with this like back kick thing. Yeah, there it is again. I can't remember. That's the kick that I'm talking about where I accidentally heat engage. That's not intentional. That's me just like mashing the wrong. Cause I think I want to do forward, forward four and I'm doing like a four, corner four, spam, three. but it is what it is. Fight. Yeah. That's one thing that is definitely getting me in trouble. Even in green is like getting stuck in this quarter corner spam where I'm just bicycle kicking from that low. All right, here we go. We heat, we heat engage again off that one kick. I've got to stop that. Yeah, especially because I'm losing so much heat here. So we get some hits in, some more hits. Wow, do I lose right, this? Right. I think I lose Watch this. Up. I think I lose the first one Watch and then I win the last two is how this goes. Yep. Cooked. Absolutely cooked. Just strung me Damn. up. Damn. Yee. Hit me with a no string. No juice for the boy. Holy. I have to say at this point, though, like these were one of those sets of games where I don't think I had won 
you know, two games in a row yet. And so that was enough. And like two games, I mean like two matches within a set. But the big problem from this match that I'm seeing, I am engaging my heat ineffectively and I don't really know that I'm doing it. doing like a bunch of lows. Also, I'm not blocking hardly at all, it seems like. I think with Xiaoyu, it's a little bit harder for me because there's a lot of lows. I oh, obviously I can... Doing, like, uh, heat engage there. See. I obviously can block a lot of the, a lot of the, like, mids and highs, but lows, like, where you have to duck and you don't want to duck and get, like, accidentally punished for it if you duck at the wrong time. It's uh, a lot harder okay. to do. We pull it out with a down back three, I believe. A little sweep. I don't know, but I think the down back three actually might be really uh, punishable because it shows the opponent your back. I'm getting away with it right now, but I don't think I'll get away with it any higher in rank. I, I think in orange and red, it's going to be really, really hard to deal with. Or use, excuse me. Missed that whiff kick there. Still keep it. I kept the I heat. Smashing there. I, de I definitely kept the heat alive a lot longer there. Again, I didn't engage it how I wanted to. I'm also not using the nunchuck move, which seems to be really OP in my heat engage, so I need to use that as well. Just doing some low pokies here over and over. I missed the mid, or I guess I missed the high, technically. Wow, wow this string moves. is weird. This string's crazy to me. Ooh, what? I don't even know what that was. That's just like the most evasive low move. They do have Rage Art here. I don't know if they pop it. No, what? I get that down forward three off. Oh, the first win ever. So there's the first Does win. feel good? Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about. My reaction to this is my first win is win. Oh, wow. So this is really oh, what I'm talking about. Crazy, like my first though. win was only kind of okay. It didn't really feel super awesome. Because uh, a lot of it feels very mashy. I'm not really executing in any good way i'm hardly kind of keeping on top of my moves like i've talked about i'm using this down forward three into this wheel kick thing left and right and like spamming in the corner like you're going to see me do here uh, and i've got to like i've got to figure out something else to do because that's what happens eventually eventually people will start ducking it i did like it's taken basically two whole sets for right, somebody to start ducking it but <laughs> It is what it is. Okay, so how does this start? Okay, they start going for more lows, it looks like, at the start. They want to grab. I'm not having it. I guess I'm just too far away. Again, we're down 4 4 and wheel kicking it here. Not even sure that's the name of it. That's just what I'm calling it. So we hit the heat engager. There's the nunchuck move. Uh, I probably should just abuse that. I abuse the, <laughs> the down 4 3. I feel like a, that kick is super, like that low kick is very punishable. Yeah, I even mentioned it there. Okay, so we hit the Heat Engager. They hit it back. I can't remember if I, you know, full-on take them out in one round here. One thing I want to see. So there's the Nunchucks. They don't really hit that hard. They hit the hard... They hit pretty hard the last hit. That was wow. a nice sidestep, bro. Okay, so that's yep. something else that I'm that's really not doing is getting up effectively. I feel like I'm barely getting up in time. And if somebody like a Xiaoyu is pressuring me... That's just not working out very well for me, and I go right back down the oh. ground. Oh! <laughs> Honestly, here, I feel like I barely eked that out. That didn't feel like a proper, like, I had figured this out type of win. It just felt like I was able to spam a little bit more. If you can see what I'm talking about, like, this is kind of the style of my early wins. It's still happening to some degree in the green ranks, but really, I'm trying a lot more to be patient and block, try and figure out where I can duck and stay learn a little bit about what the opponent's doing, although it is still super hard for me to identify like what strings they're using. Are they, you know, continuously going for the same move? Uh, but definitely improving a little bit as I keep going. Big areas that I think I've just got to figure out and improve in, I gotta block. Block, 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 and be patient. Cause I'm not really uh, reading the opponent that well. And I think with my lack of blocking, like it's just going to absolutely get me murdered. But I feel like I have to play more patient. I have to block a lot more and try and read lows if I can before I start trying to pressure them with a lot of Law's moves. Speaking of Law's moves, I need to know them better. But the big thing I notice here is that I'm using my heat engage 
major moves way too often and then not knowing how to follow it up when I get into heat or what I want to do in heat, um, like using nunchucks or like trying to make sure that I'm parrying because punches are super parryable for me in heat. One big area for me is trying to figure out when to block lows and how to read them effectively so that I don't get launch punished. I think in a lot of times I'm just not blocking lows at all because I'm more concerned about reading it correctly, not blocking too often and getting punished for it. Uh, but that is something I noticed here, especially in this Shao Yu gameplay. I'm getting just absolutely hammered with lows the entire time. And I, I only really called this out at the end, but the other thing that I've really got to get a lot better at is get ups. Like I know there are specific ways to get up, either to do offensive get ups or to just like do, I think they're called tech rolls out of a get up or just like how you're supposed to get up in general. Cause that is one of the places I'm just mashing. Like I'm always waiting for my body to hit the ground and I think I've probably been mashing the whole time and I'm not effectively actually getting up. So that's a big, big area I've got to work on is like, how do I want to get up? When do you time get ups? And does it change depending on the type of get up you can do? All that kind of shit. Also, I have to keep reminding myself, like at this point in Tekken, I'm so early in it that this is not playing real Tekken. This is just chaos of people like me learning characters, trying to understand the movement, just mashing shit left and right to get through matches and hope to like pull off things, not really knowing how to use heat, not being effective in, you know, grab teching your moves. But I guess what I'm really trying to focus on is not get too absorbed in mashing a whole lot, even in earlier ranks and trying to make sure that I'm putting at least some kind of solid foundation in here so that as I keep progressing, I'm not having to unlearn a bunch of bad habits or I'm not just like trying to mash my way through, you know, orange and red and yellow or yellow, red, orange. I don't, I don't even know the, the belt ranks, but that's kind of what I'm looking at. Because uh, I really want to be able to enjoy Tekken at a high level, and that is certainly the goal. I want to get into higher ranks um, and feel like it is engaging and fun to play in uh, versus like I still have no idea what's going on. So I've made it my goal that before I switch up characters, and that'll definitely be the next video, is my roadmap of characters I want to play because this roster is so dope. Be sure to sub if you want to see the next video. But my main goal right now is to get Law to purple rank. And if I'm absolutely honest, today, that goal feels absolutely unachievable. And I know it is going to be an absolute fuh ton of work to even try to get to purple rank with somebody who hasn't played fighting games in a very long time. And I'm just going to get a lot more out of Tekken 8 by putting in some consistent consistent time and some hard work. And the only way to move forward is to never quit.